Real Madrid, right? This is the acid test. Your record against them recently has been very good. But, I mean, this is the one, isn't it? This could be a final. Uh, how confident are you? Um, well, first of all, good evening. Um, I'd have to say, for the first time, I'd, I'm actually confident going up against Madrid, Real Madrid. Because in the past, it's always been, yeah, I don't know. And then they've got it at the end. But then after what we did to them last season... I don't think it'll be the same type of scoreline, but I'm confident of, of going through. But with all the Arsenal fans, I'd rather go up against Munich in the next round than up against Arsenal just because of our history against English clubs. And I think Arsenal fans are a little bit too confident against Munich. Mm. I think Arsenal need need to win by a bit of a margin at, at their ground in order to go into the second leg. Yeah, Le- Leo. Leon, sorry, mate. We, 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 we were talking before you come on air and Ada was sort of, sort of suggesting that maybe this, this version of City have sort of dropped off since last year and, you know, still competing for loads of, loads of honours, but they're not quite as good as last year. Does that worry you going into this, this City game and, and the fact, sorry, this um, Real Madrid game and the fact that Real Madrid are a new look team, you know, Jude Bellingham's firing, et cetera, et cetera. Does, does, that, does that worry you? Not in the slightest because... People are saying that we've dropped off. Well, we're still in the FA Cup. We're still in the Premier League, still in Champions League. So we haven't dropped off at all. If anything, we're, we're like a... Um, don't know what the term is there. Something goes really quiet and then suddenly just pounces on there. City. That's the term. <laughs> City's the term we're looking yeah. for. Uh, yeah. But in no disrespect to Real Madrid, no disrespect at all, but you take two Bellingham out of that team and we batter them. Absolutely batter them. I think the cat agrees, mate. I, honestly, I, 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 I was going to yeah. say I was going to say the cat. But I didn't want to be offensive, just in case it wasn't a cat. Actually, yeah. Got, got to ask <laughs> the long, question. As, as long as Rodri plays in that game, I have nothing to fear at all. I think Real Madrid are more scared of us than we are of them nowadays. Leon, Leon, just before you go, that is a cat in the background, isn't it? It's actually a parrot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Just, make, just, just have to clarify and make sure. I, I, I got a. Uh, a parrot called Sparrow because it was meant it was originally a boy and then after a year I found out that it was actually a girl <laughs> and so, it could, could be species of parrot that it is but I'm getting another parrot as well soon so yeah, get, oh, get, make get, sure you get, check get, the gender get first get out, friend, so yeah, you know yeah, yeah, double check the gender as well uh, Leon appreciate <laughs> yeah. the call mate thank you very very much interesting uh, Steve <laughs> Man City fan Steve um, Leon super confident you as confident about the draw I am. I am confident, but I think Real Madrid will be after some kind of revenge after last year. And I think, we, we, you know, we, we are missing an ingredient. An ingredient. I think we we do miss Gundogan yeah. from the mm. team. He's the glue from last year. We were excellent last year when we played at our place. It was probably the best football we've ever played. Um, but they'll have to a bit of revenge this time. And I'm, I'm not sure about the draw because I was coming back from Malaga earlier. I've been to Malaga for the Cheltenham Festival with the lads on a weekend away, you know what I mean? But I wasn't sure. Are we home first or away first? I'm not sure. Uh, uh, what? No, you're um, you're away first. Well, I, that that makes it easier. I think that, yeah. I'm a, a bit more confident now for the away first. Yeah. Uh, you Again, mentioned Gundogan as well there, Steve. Place. I, I almost feel like Mares has been missed a lot as well, just in terms of that squad yeah. depth coming off the bench. What have you made very quickly of your new signings that have come up? I said earlier with Flex that I don't think they've performed as well. Doku, uh, Nunes, Kovacic, oh. Gavardio, what have you made of the new players that have come into the I squad? So, totally agree. But I think anything that come, anybody, any new players that come to City, it takes them at least 12 months to, to bed into true. the pet way. And, and once they get over that, I think they'll be a good asset to the team. Um, but Doku, I think, you know, sometimes a little bit of a one-trick pony, runs into things, and but he will be a good one. Um, Nunes, again, he's not getting the, the, the time, but Guardiola likes to bed these people in. He doesn't like to put them straight in all the time. And, you know, we've got one one thing there. We've got the asset of Phil Foden, who's on fire at the moment for Sitter. And I think he'll be an absolute crew, crucial part of that cog this year. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.